Hello everybody. Today we put on the sunglasses of doubt right from the start because I'm going to show you how to take a bad tune and make it better. And first of all, of course, we have to write a bad tune before we can improve it. What I'm hoping to do is through the process of A, writing a bad tune, show you what makes a bad tune bad, and B, by trying to make it better, show you how you go about improving things. Because it's very rare that you actually go, slam dunk, I've written the best tune ever, first time out of the box. What normally happens is you have half an idea and you refine it and refine it and refine it until eventually it turns into a perfectly polished little gem, something utterly beautiful which people remember to their dying day. Maybe not. Right, let's get going writing a bad tune. Um, what I've got going here is a very simple little template. Um, we're taking musical samplings uh, offerings for a little walk today. Um, we've got their uh, clarinet, their flute, their soaring strings, their venture strings, um, and they're really nice and sort of mid-priced and... What's not to like? And here's the flute. Anyway, we'll come on to all of that. Let, let, let's start by writing the proverbial bad tune. Okay, am I just going to go for it? Am I just going to sort of turn it on and do it? And... Oh, wow, okay. Strangely difficult actually writing something bad straight out of the box. Okay, no it's not. <laughs> what am I talking about? Of course it's easy. Come on, doubt, do it. Okay, that was pretty bad. And there's, I take it, why is that bad? Number of reasons. Uh, firstly, it's not even playing back. Why is that? Ah. Come on, guy, start again. Okay, start here. Right, where was I? Right, let's write a bad tune. is pretty trashy. Reason being... Okay. When we do workshops and things, uh, uh, I hear tunes like this quite a lot. Um, the real question you've got to ask yourself here is, where's the tune? It's just a sort of wandering succession of notes and it never really knows what the tune is. You know, there's no motif in there, and there's no core phrase, and that's the first thing you really need. You need something you can hang your hat on and say, this is at the centre of this tune. You know, not all tunes are made up of, uh, you know, a short motif which you then embellish. Some of them are through written, but this is just an aimless load of twaddle. Every time you think it's... Every time it sort of half gets somewhere, it just keeps going and just sort of dwindles out. Also, the whole thing is crutches. There's no rhythmic identity to this in any way, shape or form. And if you think of all the great tunes you love, um, most of them have got a really strong rhythmic identity. Bam, bam, ba, 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 bam, bam, ba, ba, ba. Those triplets in, in Star Wars absolutely knock it out of the park. Um, think of another tune. Dum da dum 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 dum, bum ba bum bum, rhythmic identity. That is something which we don't have going on here. Um, and this is before we've even got into the business of um, trying to put some um, harmonic accompaniment with it, which is another aspect of this. What? It's going right to stuff. It does, it defies actually. Okay, listen again. Right, okay, so how am I gonna make this better? I'm gonna try and find, first of all, something which resembles um, a motif in here or something which I can build on.
Okay, move away. That's a bit better already. There's two phrases which are not awful. Uh, it's not great, but it's not anything like as bad as it was before. Um, and how have we got there? Um, we've got there because we've given it rhythmic identity, dun, 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 and we've given it a bit of shape. Let's have another little listen. Let's try some uh, just ordinary string. Um, Okay, and that works. That's just going with very simple diatonic chords there. C, so C up to F, then C up to uh, to um, G. So there's a. Um, First phrase ends um, on a perfect cadence, second phrase on an imperfect cadence. So the first one ends up back on um, C, the second one ends up on, which is chord one, and the second one ends up on chord five. Now, what can we do which is more interesting? Because actually adding um, interesting chords to a relatively uninteresting tune can make it interesting. It is fairly diatonic, this whole thing, isn't it? Let's tune into the Woodchester piano, courtesy of Fractured Sounds. It's a very, very nice soft piano. Uh, about 79 quid, I think, uh, currently on sale. Or we could start on A minor. That's an interesting approach. That I quite like. Okay. Let's try that. Okay, yeah, that's going to work. What do you think? Then what? No. I think then I can go back all kind of, um, I can go more diatonic after that, don't you think? Nobody's gonna mind if I go all diatonic, are you? I mind. Don't you dare go all diatonic on my head. I'm sorry. Well, I'm going to do it anyway. <sighs> Send the Harmony Police round if you really want. So, there is a very simple tune which has suddenly got a bit better. A bit better. I mean, it's not brilliant, but it's... Right, let's do another one. I'm now going to delete. Oh, all gone, there you go. Right, let's start with the piano this time. 
Oh, and go, the sunglasses are out yet again, because we're about to write another bad tune. Go on, guy, just, just let rip. <laughs> That's not a tune. That's what happens when you fall over trying to play that. Fall over onto a keyboard uh, is that's what happens. Oh my. Uh, what is going on? Okay, it wasn't even in tune. I mean, it wasn't even in time, not remotely in time. So let's see if I can fix it. What? What? Guy, what are you going to do? Why didn't I just quit there? Is there something there? Or what about the second half? No, the second half is just... <laughs> crash! Okay. You could start, you can start with that. That's not the end of the world. Something, something's not right here at all. This is one of these tunes, actually, if we're going to stick with this, it needs something to go over the top of. Okay, let's go, let's add in some, uh, we're going to change, change up, change up here. Uh, we're going to go to the, where is the musical sampling gone? The musical sampling, hello, hello, uh, adventure strings, okay, yeah, I will, okay, let's go for, let's take a full on. What does cello adventure sound like? It sounds like that. That sounds like an, a cello going on an adventure. So this is going to be an answering phrase. I just don't know what it is yet. What is going on over there with my phone? Let's just listen to the harmony. <laughs> it sounds a bit like... That one where the guy got sued for... Um, Don't sing that bit or you'll get sued as well, guy. No, you won't. Yes, you will. No, you won't. Okay. Okay. Now I've thought of it, I can't. Let's try up there.
my case rests, Your Honour. That works. Except I can't play. Not at all. Not at all. Oh, 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 oh. You got merge, merge problems here, guy. You just left it on and just been playing multiple layers of the same thing, you idiot. Okay, it's not... Is it the best tune you've ever written, Guy? Absolutely. So, okay, so what do we take away from this? Oh, this is quite fun, maybe I'll do this again sometime. Look, um, that... Perfectly presentable tunes, which these both have been, eventually, oh, no, you know, they're, they're not terrible, um, don't always start straight out of the box being great. So, rather, when you, you're going away from this video, you're going to sit down at your piano or whatever, and you're going to have a go at this, and when you have a really bad idea to start with, you won't go, no, oh, I'll go and get a cup of tea and do something else. You just work at it. Tunes need work. That actually is the message that comes out of all this. Yeah, it does. I decided that. And then if you work at it and you find the little bit which has got some identity to it, um, you can work it up into something which is less awful than it was to start with. And eventually, eventually, you'll have written an Australian classic which infringed somebody else's copyright. <laughs> ah, oh dear. No, you won't. Right. I'm going to call it a day for today. But look, um, here's some interesting stuff from Think Space Education you might like to check out. <laughs> okay, here is a plug. See you next time. Bye-bye. How to Write Music is my online course that takes you through every step of the process. How to get going, chord progressions, tune writing, developing and arranging your music, six hours of exclusive video tutorials, a course text packed with tips, and a supportive online community. Get more out of your music and sign up today.